you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah. Wait, let me see your hair right now. Tilt forward a little bit. Yeah. Interesting. That's crazy. Yeah. It's That's fun. So the front is fun. It's so bright. Yeah. The, the green and orange are bleeding together a little, but that's okay. Yeah. That's the, I mean, you know about the, the multicolor. I understand the conundrum. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Ugh. Do you look you know at that? Do? People are huh? loving the pastel hair. The pastel hair. You just got to say it's on purpose. Yeah, it's on purpose. It's ombre and it's pastel. I'm going to hold this box. That way, if anybody hasn't gotten it, they're just going to get FOMO. Twins. Twi hey, let's go. The here. coolest box ever. Just casually right here. Yeah. yeah, like this. Comfort, comfort box. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. They said I shaved the sides. I just had to get a haircut. It was touching my ears and I was freaking out. <laughs> I can't, like if, it like if I'm having a weird day and it touches my, my hair touches my neck, I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Last little, last little thing to send you over the edge. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, I am holding a baby. Someone said it looks like holding a baby. Well, it is. This is our baby. You're like, oh, it's a good boy. It's a good boy. <laughs> what comes in? Here? <laughs> well, speaking of speaking of a uh, ear box and hair. I was about to say, speaking of, speaking of a baby, I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on here? Aww. That is your, yes, that is our baby. Yeah. Um, well, I have some questions for you. Get to know your, your hair story a little bit better. Hair story. Hair story. Yeah. I don't Do know it. if that's fine or not. But, uh, okay, so this box, obviously, bold colors. Why do you, what do you like about dyeing your hair? Where did it start? When's the first time you ever dyed it? Okay, so I used to, again, I'm just gonna product placement the whole thing. Here we go. Is it product, can, can, like, is it product placement if it's like my head? Does it count? <laughs> like, do I have to put like ad, you know, hashtag ad spawn next to this? Like, hey everybody, <laughs> this is how I watch TV. This is, I'm just like, Um, ah, no, um, right. Product, right? What? It, no, because it's your own product, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the first time I dyed my hair, it's because I was being a little bitch about it and was just doing it. 14 or 15. I think 15. Yeah. I guess summer. I just left it. I was like, eh, fine. Like, but, uh, she got, she got used to it pretty quick. And, uh, after that, I think I had blue hair for like, I think. I think like three and a half, maybe four years. Blue is my oh. longest one. It's just people didn't really know who we were for like most of it. Mm -hmm. Like I had blue hair during like the first EP one knew about. And then during the second EP is when I had uh, uh, pink, the pink hair. And then our third EP is when it was blue and for the first album as well. And that's when a lot of people found us. Cool. Um, us being the hit smash band water parks in case any good die young people just happen to be in here and don't know anything that's going on right now with me besides this cute fuck. But I don't know. I feel like the blue, purple, pink kind of vibe is normally the way I like to, I don't know. I think it lands better on me. It's a good combo. Maybe, maybe if you did like a, rather than like a solid warm color, if you did like a red, orange, yellow, like kind of sunset vibe at some point. Ooh, like a gradient. I do love gradient. Yeah, yeah that could be cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah, but hell yeah. I definitely like to make like, like a piece of the album. You know what I mean? Like make sure it's like a cohesive thing, make sure the music feels that way to me. Because I think it just like, even if it doesn't necessarily 
provide like a uh, like a full on like clear ah this is what it is for you like I think if I feel like kind of creative thing is being fulfilled in that way it's gonna naturally um, kind of exude into other parts of the creative whether it's like show stuff merch things or whatever like if if there's a specific like color wave or variant or just like the way I feel about it you know mm -hmm. ultimately it makes it better totally the the emotional ever someone's probably gonna walk by someone and be like nice hair and I'm like thanks never happened and I was just like whoa uh and um what else um <laughs> wait I started reading comments I got distracted oh well I'm gonna stop and um yeah, and then yeah, after it snipped off the green, it was brown, and then went with the whole multicolor thing. And now we're here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, speaking of, oh, where am I? Oh, I lost my notes. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, you have notes? <laughs> maybe a little bit. You're prepared. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to get my notes. Fuck this. Hang on. <laughs> um, do you, okay, so do you kind of intentionally it sounds like you kind of had like a different hair color for each of your first few like eras of the band is that intentional did it just kind of work out that way do you feel like changing your hair is like a big deal at all like a new or is it just like oh i'm bored of this color let's let's try something new i like separating things with color distinctions also it happens to be really good for like remembering what was when because i'm really bad about that Oh, yep. yep. now. Um, so, yeah, I I feel like separating them really helps differentiate things, at least for me. And also, I don't know, songs and like music and stuff have kind of different colors and energies to me. I feel like I like to match whatever's going on. And uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, because awesome. having a project like like thing or whatever it may be like let's say music just because it's it is what it is it's not just an auditory thing it's a visual thing it's it's like every sense i mean we haven't really provided a lot of taste yet but we will um i think it's important to uh to provide a fully immersive thing you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah do you and know about like, part of the who, huh? who can like visual? There's some people who can like visualize color or visualize sounds and like music mm -hmm. as colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that going on. Okay, okay, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I actually I did this thing with MTV where they had me paint the whole album. I was about I was about to ask if like you've ever oh. yeah yeah just once and then uh, I gave it to my mom because she really wanted it. She was like, "Oh, I want that so bad. Do you know where it is?" and I got it for her for Christmas. I had MTV like nail it. Um, That's such a good gift. <laughs> I know, and it's it's currently up at the at the night house in Houston. So it's up on the wall. I was just wow. like, yeah. That's so cool. She was, she was cool. excited. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well. It's crazy you're doing this on your birthday. I mean, yeah, it's just a Tuesday. <laughs> I'm like, it's it's not a fun birthday. I'm like 23, so, you know. Yeah, I feel like I after all the, all the birthdays are just, it's just a day of the week, but. I have something for you. Oh? Oh. Here we go. Is it an Austin box? I came into the office this morning. They got me a squishmallow and some big birthday balloons in my favorite color. So, let's go. what's your favorite color? 
green. That's my dad's favorite color. It's a good one. It's a good one. Not a bad one. I used to say it was mine just because it was his. I used to be like, yeah, green. <laughs> I think I you had like a slime green, right? I did. Yeah, that's like, oh, that's my favorite color ever. I love a good really color. neon chartreuse. -y. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. What are your, uh, do you have any plans for your next color? Or are you just like waiting for inspiration to strike? Do you have any colors you haven't done? Um, I probably wouldn't do orange again. I don't know if I could do just yellow. I don't think I would do just yellow. I feel like my head would look like pee. Even if it was like a, if you did like a highlighter yellow where it's like. I don't think I could do it. I like, normally I lean, normally I lean like towards cool colors. You know what I mean? Um, I just feel like that usually goes better. Because like I said, I had orange hair as like a wee child. And I, uh, and I have red hair for like five seconds, but I don't know. I feel like the blue, purple, pink kind of vibe is normally the way I like to, I don't know. I think it lands better on me. It's a good combo. Maybe, maybe if you did like a, rather than like a solid warm color, if you did like a red, orange, yellow, like kind of sunset vibe at some point. Ooh, like a gradient. I do love gradient. Yeah, yeah that could be cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. But Hell yeah. I definitely like to make like, like a piece of the, you know what I mean? Like make sure it's like a cohesive thing, make sure the music feels that way to me. Because I think it just like, even if it doesn't necessarily provide like a, uh, like a full on, like clear, ah, this is what it is for you. Like, I think if I feel like, Kind of creative thing is being fulfilled in that way it's going to naturally um kind of exude into other parts of the creative whether it's like show stuff merch things or whatever like if if there's a specific like color wave or variant or just like the way i feel about it you know mm -hmm. ultimately it makes it better totally the the emotional what one like for co co what's like a noun for cohesive in the, the the full the full spectrum, it makes, it makes it feel like like a uh, like a capsule almost, just like a full like everything just goes together and feels right. Because oh, yeah. it's so it's 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 easy to get messy with that kind of thing, you know. Especially if you're like, I'm I'm making an art piece, and then there's like no visual direction with it. It's like. I'm like, those songs better be fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when, yeah, because it's not just like you record the music and that's it. Like you are, like yeah. you have the art you. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that you want it all to feel kind of aligned. Yeah. Yeah. That's you, awesome. you get it. You know. You get it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, it's the same thing as like going through a big life change, cut your hair, dye a different color, you know, go through a mm -hmm. breakup, dye green. All yeah, break up with somebody and cut your bangs. Yep. Yep, same thing, same thing. Hey everyone, it's my eye. Wow. How long, did it, how long did it take you to handwrite all of these? Oh, it took a minute. Like, I thought signing CDs took a long time, like for record stores and stuff. Mm -mm. This is the one. Also, I still haven't put these anywhere. Like I want to, like I have a guitar case where I put all my stickers typically, but I don't, I, I want to keep this box like intact. They're so cool. So I'm I only a... allowed to have one. I know everybody's only allowed to have one. It's a limit. So. Yeah, I haven't put them anywhere either. Cause they're, it's, it's like the, once you put it on, you can't move it. So. Yeah. No. Damn, I kind of, I kind of feel like I, Maybe I should do like a primary color thing. I mean, you're like two thirds the way there. That's true. That's true. I've never done a full rainbow, so. Stupid for Maybe Lauren not. says they're handwritten. I don't want to lie to you. They're not handwritten. Don't do that. 
that I did handwrite it on a paper such as this. No, fuck it. Yeah, they're all handwritten. <laughs> all of them. Uh, so. Besides, you guys have any care questions only? Do y'all have any questions for Austin? If you ask me a question, I'm going to find you. I'm going to kick you in the <laughs> mouth with rock. <laughs> no shit, they're not all handwritten. There's like, like thousands of boxes. When could I, like, when could anyone ever do that? <laughs> have you ever had a buzz cut? Yeah, I have. And like, maybe like first or second grade or something. And then I started having the bowl cut. Uh, bowl cut was fourth grade. Fifth grade, I had the little little boy in the front, though. Yeah. Sixth grade was the faux hawk. Like, where I didn't fully commit to the mohawk by shaving the sides, but I would put it up in the middle. I think same with seventh grade. Oh. Uh, and then eighth grade. Actually, eighth grade, we skipped a step. I tried bleaching my hair like Mike Dirt during American Idiot. You know, uh, and uh, it looked real bad. And then we went to visible changes in the mall and turned it into highlights. So I had like Aaron Carter hair for like five seconds. Yes. <laughs> okay, wait, so you started dyeing it in like middle school? Yes. Okay, cool. Mm. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Longest okay. length, oh, longest length. Okay, I going into ninth grade, it was like to here. It was big and then, I don't know, like, okay. I it, I knew it was too long, but and like now I, I i don't understand the logic in this but <sighs> this is self-sabotage like a hundred percent there was there was this girl that i liked in ninth grade and she liked dudes with long hair and then i cut all my hair off fucking idiot self-sabotage yeah yep <laughs> but someone asked if you would ever dye your eyebrows no Dallin, Dallin from I don't know how he uh, he wants me to shave them off so bad. <laughs> he like he texts me about that like every every. It's not crazy often, but it's every like five to six months. He's like shave your eyebrows, and I'm like, huh. Actually, gotta, save gotta save that when you're really going through it. <laughs> yeah. Um. My mom would be so mad at me. Um. <laughs> but uh. He actually texted me the other day being like, get this sweater or we're not friends anymore. And I was like, what the fuck? And so I checked it out. I was like, I tried clicking the link and it wasn't even available yet. And I was like, dude, I want to be friends with you, but I physically cannot buy this. It's not out. <laughs> dye your leg hair. Oh, someone also, have you ever dyed your armpit hair? No. Bleach my armpit hair? Are you out of your fucking mind? I did that a couple months ago. You bleached your armpit hair? Yeah, I dyed it green. How bad did it burn? Um, it didn't take that long to lift. I don't feel like it burned that bad. I don't know. Some people said it would burn, but I thought it was okay. <laughs> but mm. it, it, the color fades really fast because, like, there's no, like, color-friendly, like, body wash. So it just, yeah. It was right. Gone. Oh, so yeah, you basically either have to be like super stinky or it's gone in like three days. Yeah, and then it gets all over all your like white shirts if you wear anything. So it's, mm -hmm. it's um, it was it was cool for you know like a picture, but not not worth it really. That's another reason I don't think I could do red because my clothes just got so like all my necks on like anything remotely light were just like messed up, and it was only like a few weeks. But yeah, like the necks all just had just red, 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 red. Dye your leg hair and sell it. Sell it. I already cool. tried selling my leg hair. <laughs> well, no, truth is I did sell my leg hair and now I'm banned from eBay. That's true life right there. I'm not kidding. Y'all can look it up. Look up Austin Knight sells leg hair. And <laughs> the bids were going crazy. Like, and then after it sold, eBay freaked out. I was like, you can't do that. But I couldn't fight the case because it was no longer listed. So then I just went and sold it on Twitter. 
And I they just PayPal me instead. You're the blueprint for the uh the bath the bathwater girl. I right? <laughs> Fucking put some respect on it. I did it first. I'm being like soldier boy right now. Like no matter what anybody does, he's like, I did that first. <laughs> That's kind of baller. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I guess if I dyed it, I could it'd be kind of funny to sell it. But I have so much leg hair because I'm like real Greek. <laughs> So my legs are just like, it, it almost looks like I'm tan. Oh, wow. But it's leg hair. So it's like just the hair because I don't show my legs very much unless we're like playing tennis or something. Helps with the aerodynamics running running across the court. Yeah. Someone said, yeah. does John still give you his hair? No, I only, I've, I've gotten John's hair twice. Uh, John is our photographer, by the way. He, uh, uh, I went to, again, we're probably in like eighth grade or something like that. We went over to Visible Changes in the mall and he had real long hair at the time, real long black hair. And I got all the hair, like I saved it and I put it in a bag. I think it's in my closet in my parents' house. And then a one New Year's when he cut off all his red hair, he gave that to me all tied up too, it was like a burrito. Uh, I still have that. He hasn't given me his hair and at least like five years maybe i think like five years yeah sounds like he's over you're overdue for some hair gifting then he keeps cutting it now though actually i uh i went with him to a haircut the other day but it was just a trim so it wasn't worth saving <laughs> what can you do do i like motley crew eh. It's fine. When people are like pieces of shit, it makes me not like anything that they do. I mean, not, not always, it's not always the case, but like, I don't know, watching them like, or like watching any of the movies and all this stuff, I'm just like, oh cool, you just do coke and like murder people and fuck each other's girlfriends. You guys are fucking losers. That's probably gonna come back to bite me in the ass someday, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I can't, I don't know anything about Molly Crew. Oh, oh my God. Watching the movies is so frustrating. I was just like, this is so fucking dumb. My mother has a drawer full of me and my siblings hair. Ew, your mom's weird. <laughs> Did you ever get a mullet? We're in the- No, end. I told you, my hair touches my neck and I'm like, ah. That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> uh -uh. Mm -mm, I couldn't do it. Also, I can't get a nose piercing. Uh, because Jeff and Otto already have like the sides. What and... about the? See, but I can't do that. I'll be like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and like, cause like a nose ring would be like the fun one. I'd get like a little, little subtle boy, mm -hmm. but like, I don't know. I just feel, hmm. I just feel like I, I couldn't do that. And then I wouldn't want to get a lip piercing. Cause then if I ate soup, it would go through my lips. Have you seen, I've seen, I have like a friend who has like a, yeah, like a punch there and they can shoot water out of there. Yeah, like, ew, see like, what happens if they ate like, no fuck it, we can even just stay on liquids. Like, what, you drink chocolate milk and it goes down your chin? Like, for what? Uh-uh. <laughs> Other things are also like, cool. Would you get a perm? <laughs> How long does a perm last? Oh. Um, I think usually you're, you kind of have to let your hair grow out, but I mean, you have like what? decently short hair. Like, a, wait, how long? I feel like you just have to kind of let it grow out. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can like undo a perm, mm. but, oh yeah. Uh, if, if it lasted like, if it lasted like two weeks, I would do it just cause it'd be funny. I don't know. I want Zeph to get a perm. Yeah. <laughs> God, no. See. Oh yeah, do you have a do you have a favorite hair era? I mean, you went over all of them, but do you have like a clear favorite or a least favorite? No, you said you wouldn't go like orange again. But... Not really, like, cause I can look back at any of them and be like, like, man, that looked tight. You know what I mean? Or like, there are certain outfits that looked better with different ones. Like, I was wearing some clothes the other day that. I would mainly wear like a few years ago because I was going through my closet and I was like, okay, I either need to get rid of some shit 
or just like put it away somewhere else or I need to wear it. And so I wore like a couple older things and I was like, man, this looked way better with like purple hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, everybody tweeted Zeph, Zeph perm era. And don't tell her why. Don't tag me in it. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out here on my birthday. Diving into happy your... birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone happy say happy birthday right now. <laughs> eyebrow hey, everybody. Ever, would you ever do the eyebrow slit? Have you ever done one? Eyebrows, like the Charlie Puth thing? Yeah. Well, I think his is a scar, but yeah. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if I'm cool enough. Austin started Depop. Yeah, fucking right. Then we have to talk more. Austin Box. Austin Box. Austin Box! The best Get it. Yeah, Austin Box. Get your um, written, your handwritten note. Yes. And this, also, this is you can literally do any color you like. We love primary colors. And also, you can get in it and live in it. Yeah, yeah. I bought this the other day, too. It goes in the freezer or the fridge, and then you put it over your eyes, and it feels good. I have one. Actually, that's almost, I don't know if it's a cat, but it's pink. I have one just like that. We're twins. Look, we have matching eye patches. Yeah, I'm throwing it back in the fridge right now. <laughs> you know what I bought the other day that's gross? What? Beet juice. To drink? Yeah. Not good. Me living in a box because I live in Toronto, can't afford it. Oh my gosh, somebody's getting, yeah, live in the Austin box. Yeah, get in. Close the lid. Get inside. <laughs> Honestly, imagine if like your house looked like the looked like the box. That would be a sick house. I would need like a side place to decompress. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'd be stressed. A, a dark room, and then the and then yeah, maybe just an awesome yeah. box. Do what? An awesome box room, like just one room that's like. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. I could I could have one like real fucked up room and just close the door if I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dope well i hope you have a great birthday i hope you have excellent tacos and i hope your family doesn't harass you too much no i love them i'm, I'm lucky i got i got that Good. great family yeah <laughs> all right well everybody go get the box go get, get the it. box before it sells out go get the box we love the get awesome in box. it right now okay thanks for hanging of course.